Hey everybody, I'm New Leaf, and well, last time Saponi asked me, uh, New Leaf, how do you prepare for the Everfree Forest and get strong magic and do fine here? Well, um, you can see the first bit of preparation is on my very coat, and that is, um, armor. This armor has fairy dust woven into it, and, um, well, I think that's real. Oh, there's two, oh, that's Celestia's cutie mark on it. Um, <laughs> I also still have, um, the enchantments for my ears. Look, they're a little pointy, but I guess it makes me look a little taller. And you need to know a few spells. Um, hey, Drylaw. Are you okay? Oh, okay. What about, um, 10-7? You look like some pony I used to know. Okay. Is that something I should be worried about, every pony? Okay. Let's just go. Okay, and of course you need to know a little bit of magic, so... Um, I do have a few spells, every pony that I like to use. Um, well, my favorite is probably the, um, Hypnosis spell. So what the Hypnosis spell does, it can, you know, lure some of the creatures and make them, um, listen to me. Not just sleep, but actually... Um, make them listen to what I have to say. Um, but I guess that's a spell that is better to, you know, show off further in into the forest, every pony. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think it was this way. There are a few friends of mine down here. Now, just need to find out where they are, though. Um, oh, I see them, every pony. Timberwolves. They're, um, a pretty good example of how you can, um, hypnotize creatures. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Hello, Timberwolf. I don't fear you, but you should certainly fear what I can do to you. Okay, Mr. Timberwolf. I... I choose this one to be the lucky one. Don't trail behind. Okay, I'm in range. Uh-oh. Come on now. Don't you want to fight me? Oh, look, they're fighting each other. It's like they're saying mean things to another. It's like, oh, you didn't take a bath today and you're stinky and... And look, now he's helping me fight. Yes, go fight the other one too. I'll help you. Eh, see? Oh, I think he's starting to realize that something's wrong, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, really? You think you can take me? And one of my other spells that I really enjoy to use is the Sword Strike. It's a spell that you can't really see, but uh, the more you hurt the spell, the stronger it gets. So when I just take a little while and focus my magic really much, um, all, you, all, all of you think you can take me? Well, I think not. And there you go. See? Powerful and very, very swiftly, but you need to be really, really on point with your spells to make this work. Otherwise, it might be a little hurdy. Okay. Um, so, of course, other spells um, include something that can heal yourself, like this. The Triage. Um, let's see. Other spells include defensive spells, but I will try to show them off against some of the stronger and more mysterious creatures in the Everfree Forest Every Pony. By the way, um, for those of you wondering, Meadowlush is in school, so, um, she, she won't really, uh, be looking for me, I hope. I hope she doesn't get worried that I'm in the Everfree Forest. It's a little dangerous, but I'm pretty sure she could handle herself here. I know her very, very well. Okay, so let's go and find some stronger creatures, shall we? Oh, those are... Golems, everybody, right? Pegasi golems, look how many there are. I really need to be careful to do this right. Okay. Let's see. That's five of them. I would need to be very, very careful. But I think I can do it, every pony. And they're surrounded by bees. If I do this correctly, I can get them all to attack me at once. Oh, for healing purposes, I also have this. Called a regenerative aura. Which is just that. It heals me. Oh. 
someone want to come get me? You want to come get me? Because it's me who gets you. Get ready for magical arrow. Come on. Oh, he ran. My magical arrows hurt, you know. Okay. I'm going to go deeper into them. I need to navigate around the bees. Okay. I think we're ready to, to get one of them now. Okay. Go. Okay, now one of them is attacking me. Now I have to make sure to keep healing myself repeatedly. Because those can hurt a lot, every pony. Especially if there's a whole bunch of them. Hello, mister. Aren't you going to attack me too? Okay. Oh my, those are really starting to hurt, every pony. Got it. Heal myself. And there you go. Pretty nice. Okay. Now you might be wondering, New Leaf, why are you doing this? Well, I've heard... I don't know if it's a rumor, but... Um, according to some old book that I read, these golems have um, links to the past. And apparently, they drop armor from those ancient times and they store them inside of their body. But not all of them have them, of course, because there's only one set. And would you... Can you even imagine how I would look wearing armor that would look a little like Luna's? I mean, that would fit perfectly to my coat color, wouldn't you say, every pony? Um, wait, let's see. What other spells have I not shown you ponies yet? Oh, of course. If you're, like, you know, trying to not tank things. And instead just wear an every pony down. We can do that very well. Let's see. Um, hello? Anyone wanna? Hello? Okay, so we can do this one. Um, there we go, it makes them a little weaker. And this shields myself. Another important spell. Uh, I have a lot of endurance in battle, just, you know, don't worry. Heal myself, do this spell. I can shoot magical arrows pretty nicely too. I think that must have hurt every one of them. But I don't think they're really getting through me, every pony. <laughs> Just like in a magic duel, every pony. I usually don't, you know, tip over so easily because I've managed to protect myself against what every ponies throw at me. Oh. Well, this is wearing them down, I think. Okay. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that, you know. Stop. Uh-oh. Okay. What about you? Okay, I wonder which spells have I not shown you, every pony? Oh, what's this? The sugar crash. Oh. I think he's a little distracted. Can't get me. Actually... I have an idea of what you can do. Go play with your friends. The bad kind of playing. You should tell him that he smells funny. Yep. Okay. Bye now. <laughs> I should probably get going, every pony. When you see every pony, I certainly have my tricks and ways to fight in the Everfree Forest. Now, you know, it, it can't be dangerous to go in here on your own, but, um, well. You know, with the magic of friendship, you're always certain to find some pony who's willing to help. Um, I have a few friends in here, like, um, Lemon Bass, who makes some of the best lemonade ever, who is an amazing Pegasus. You can very well hold his ground here. Okay, but I'm going deeper for a certain creature. To show you that my magic really can, you know, deal with anything this place has. Um, okay, need to teleport far. Mm, no problem teleporting a little bit. Okay, there it is. You see this dragon? I am going to beat him without any problem. Even if he breathes, breathes his fire. I have to bring my spells up. Get ready to heal yourself. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Come on, mister. Can you beat me? I don't think he did. Did a lot of damage, though. But I think I did a little bit more to him. 
Okay, I think anyway we should try leaving the Everfree Forest. Now when you're leaving the Everfree Forest, and well, if you get lost in there, you might always want to follow your heart. Um, nature talks to you. Um, well, it does talk to me a lot too, because well, I'm the pony of nature, but it has its ways of, you know, talking with every pony, even if it's not, you know, words, spoken words at least. You can, you know, smell the trees, the air. It tells you where to go. It's like, you know, telling you this is where you can leave. And we can follow this path. Just have to listen. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a strong one. This is a level 51. Okay, every pony. Let's see, this is... I guess I've not shown yet how, how it works when I'm fighting a single creature. Can just repeatedly do this one. Just repeatedly over and over do this one and this one, the sugar crash. Let's go for this again. And this was well Yeah, he's actually wearing me down a little bit, every pony. Still gonna have to do a lot more than that, you know. Got it! Medical level increased. Oh, yay. This means my medical spells hell he little you looted an apple pie and a cupcake. Oh My where did he get those from speaking of which that reminds me of something um well When you have been to the Evergreen forest and you start to navigate back Of course, there are some very very important things that you have to do when you leave like you have to um, Express yourself you no know? celebrate that you're here celebrate nature. I mean it does take a while to make all these, and yes, well, even if the RF3 Forest is strange, it totally makes sense to me. I understand its magic. It's just a little misunderstood by ponies sometimes. But then again, that goes for nature, generally. Um, anyway, let's leave this place. We have to go this way, and this way, just keep teleporting across the bridge. But of course there are some places in the Everfree Forest that you, well, you shouldn't be going there because, well, other creatures live there. It would be like if some creature came into your, um, well, living room or breeding grounds and being like, hi, I think they would mind. Okay, anyway, let's see. I think I see them up ahead. I'm gonna have to do some really quick teleporting. There it is. Those are the breeding grounds of cockatrices, every pony. And for humans not knowing what those are, they can turn you into a rock statue. I'm not going there. I don't want to harm them. And I think they do a lot of damage, so I'm just going to avoid these. Although I'm pretty sure I could, you know, take out as many of them as there are, considering my magic. But um, anyway, let's just go. Oh, hello wasps. Oh, this is this is where they make their homes. Keep watching it and, you know, make a little honey if you want to. I like honey, every pony. Um, it's apparently good, just, you know, don't have too much of it. Otherwise, it's bad for your teeth and then, um, you know, Colgate will tell you off. You know, the, the, the mare who tells you how to brush your teeth and everything. I think she will mind. Anyway. <sighs> After you finally managed to leave the Everfree Forest and got what you came for, you have to go and do a certain ritual. And for this ritual, you need ingredients. Or, well, one ingredient, actually. And that would be to get some, um, well, you'll see. get some nice cookies and for any pony wondering yes winter is well um, I finally after I managed to fight the pink color in the followed equestria game every pony you don't have to worry about winter sticking around too much anymore because well um, it is going to get wrapped up soon um, tomorrow actually is going to be the last day of winter so let's enjoy this beautiful beautiful white and perfect blanketed snow. I've told the weather ponies to make their clouds differently so the snow is a little more fluffy this time and it allows for the animals to sleep a lot more. 
it's very fluffy and soft and cozy. <laughs> oh. Yes, the water's frozen too. Ponies will have to make sure that is opened. I, of course, will help them. You know, clear the snow. And thaw out the lakes. I usually help them find out how to, you know, get rid of the cold and make the warm come and tell all the animals, hey, it's time to go up again and, you know, start the cycle of the four seasons. Hmm. The four seasons are truly special, every pony. There's a little bit of love in every one of them, even if it's... Okay, so let's see. We have to go this way, every pony. Um. Okay, so we have to go this way to a very magical place that helps ponies who left the Everfree Forest successfully in a very special way. Oh, what's this? Is oh, for a second I thought you were Fluttershy. Sorry, Lifers. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's go. And what I like about this arm, it conceals my wings pretty nicely. And I usually don't, you know, like flying too much, but, um, I can fly okay, I suppose. Um. And in this particular place, which is called Sugar Cube Corner, they have something that will put a smile upon any pony's face. And I mean any pony, any human, or whatever kind you are, you are going to love this one thing. Oh, I wonder what Meadow Lush is doing as she's studying, okay? Well, I can, you know, use some of the things that I found in the Everfree Forest to um, give to ponies and tell them. But here it is, every pony. There's awesome music. And most importantly, Silver Platter. Hello. Look at this, every pony. So what you do is you buy 10, and then you buy 10 more, and then you keep buying them as much as you want, and then you sit down and... Uh, let's see. Oh my, the speed is catching. Okay, I might be taking a little while before I go home, every pony. Gotta shake those hooves, every pony, and stay fit while enjoying something. No, nope. not here. Saddleback leaf. And that is cake and cookies and cookies. Eat every single one of them. Oh, I love, love eating cookies. Oh, look at this, every pony. Remember when I told you about the golem sometimes having ancient armor? The Sunlight Chestplate is one of them, every pony. I found those off of them. So, I suspect the tales of this book are true. And we'll keep searching for them. I'll we'll just have to go through a lot and lot of golems, every pony. But for now, I'm jamming out to this beat and enjoying myself, every pony. <laughs> well, oh, I'm totally gonna be here later. <laughs> you know, with some of the other ponies that I know, some friends of mine, uh, you know, um, Hullaboo's certainly gonna be here. Oh my. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Anyway, Silver Platter, I'll be right back. Okay. So, I do know, you know, Metal is you know, gonna be home from school soon, so I kind of have to get to Canterlot quickly and just help that I'll be on time. I mean, what if Metal Lush comes out of school and I'm not there and, um,. Oh. She's gonna be worried, every pony. I don't want to worry, Meadow Lush. Hmm. My beloved daughter. I'm so proud of her, you, you know. <laughs> she's a little rebel just like me and uh, a little shy too. But, um, I think she's learning. Still. Hmm. I think she could help us wrap up winter tomorrow, every pony. Now that I imagine it, I think she will enjoy it, and I can tell she's fascinated by the seasons. I wonder what a fifth season would look like. <laughs> would there be a season where it rains cookies, and um, the leaves turn to cookies, and chocolate, and um, 
Wait, I'm pretty sure there's a pony who, can, who makes something like this already, so... Um, but I think the seasons, as they are, they, um, well, they're just a way of expressing myself, every pony. <laughs> I feel like making a snow pegasus right now, but I have to keep going. Oh, is that a guard? Let's see. I like scaring them. <laughs> uh, where is he? Get ready. Where is it? Hey there! Hi! Gotcha! <laughs> Hi. Oh, you seem startled, miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> but then again, teleporting randomly in front of ponies never gets old. Um, anyway, let's go to... Cantrum lot every pony. I'm pretty sure Meadowless is already waiting. Maybe she's on her way from school to meet me at um at the cafe. Because there's this wonderful, wonderful mare, which I know. Maybe some of you ponies may know her, some of you may not, but she certainly knows how to run an amazing cafe with great cake, beverages, cookies, and even some nice meals for the evening, every pony. She goes by the name of Flan for every pony, wondering who I'm talking about. <laughs> Truly amazing pony she is. Flying is tiring, and Pegasus ponies must occasionally land. Yes. <laughs> well, I do fly too, but I stake around it a lot of the time. Anyway, I better get going. Uh, let's see. I should go in style though, every pony, if I'm going at all, right? Okay. Hello, Flan. Um, hi. Can we have some cookies? I mean, I already have some, but um, more cookies, please, because Metalush is coming from school soon, and I uh, want to be ready. Thanks, Miss Flan. Mm, I should actually, you know, sit down a little bit and uh, enjoy the enjoy the evening, every pony. Mm. Canterlot is the most relaxing and chill place ever, every pony. Oh. Hey, school's over. I should tell Daddy about all the things I learned today. Um, I especially loved how they were telling me about. Uh, release when they're happy and um, but daddy says he's waiting at the cafe for me i don't know what he's having for me but um i can't wait to hear about his adventures i hope he's safe today um right i i, sh I think he will be wonderful today. Um, what did you see today? Um, did you have uh, an adventure? Oh, well, that's wonderful to hear, Meadow Lush. Well, I can tell y'all about what happened today. You see, um, I was in the Earthy Forest. 